Um, and I, you know, everybody recognizes the OCC's primary role is the safety and soundness of the U.S. banking system, but it, but it is also that that consumers have access to that system and that they are treated fairly. And so when we look at, you know, a potential fintech getting a national banking charter, we would take it through those three particular lenses. And I do think where we're seeing really great utilization in fintech opportunities is really serving markets that don't have traditional banking relationships. And where we've seen especially opportunities is where in the inner cities across America, where, you know, there's less access to banking branches. Um, but most people, you know, there's a study that says, you know, so just under 70% of people of inner city America have a phone and they're already using the phone to buy things on Amazon and they're paying their <coughs> utility bills, that developing a banking relationship via that phone is a natural extension of that. And besides, you know, what I tell people, who wants to go stand in a line and cash a check anyway? You know what I mean, for as, a, as a using a bank. If you can do that, you know, pull your phone out, take a picture of your payroll check or have it directly deposited, um, those are features that are enhancing, I think, to the consumer's experience with financial services. And then the other aspect is it's very difficult on a, you know, a one-off for financial institutions to do small uh, dollar lending. But in a highly automated space, you can make that an efficient product to be able to deliver on a broad base for consumers. So I really think uh, in the fintech space of bringing what financial institutions, we're going to open up tremendously the markets and I think also consumer choices.